Recently, I had a GoPro that was in frame of another GoPro while I was riding stop recording. Yeah, not great. But when I edited the footage, I wanted to highlight that. So in today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did it. And I'm going to show you a free way to do it because I have the studio version. So I used a DVE effect, which we'll show at the end. But we're going to start out by doing it in the free version with Fusion. Don't be scared. We're just going to be in there for a minute. And I'm going to show you how to do borders and drop shadow and all that stuff. So, hey, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Let's dive into Resolve, all right? So here in the Edit tab, we have our test footage, and you can see that the GoPro moves around. So if we were to just put a circle mask or zoom and all that, the GoPro would move around and would get off center. We don't want that. So we're going to press and hold Alt and left mouse click, drag, make a duplicate. And then we're going to right click, say New Fusion Clip. That reset the frame numbers. And then we're going to right click, say Open in Fusion Page. And with Media 1 selected, we're going to Shift Spacebar, type in Tracker, T-R-A, it comes up. We can drag our tracker over to the blue GoPro logo. In this case, I find that it tracks well. Um, you may have to try this a few times to get it to work right. But once you have a nice high contrast uh, piece of the image, then you come over to Adaptive Mode, select Best Match, double click on Match Tolerance, type in 0.4 and then track forward. And you're gonna watch as it tracks to make sure that it doesn't lose sight of the object you're trying to highlight. Now that that's done, we can go to our operation and the magic happens. Change the operation to match move, the merge to background only, and since we're on the last frame, you can see the checkerboard. Yay, checkerboard. That tells you that as it plays through, it's moving the frame around to keep the GoPro stable. So now we can come back to the edit page. And if I play through this clip and I just leave my mouse, I don't even move the mouse, you can see that the GoPro stays right there on my mouse. Perfect. That's what we need. So we're going to move this all the way off to the side. That's our backup copy. That's stabilized, right? Then we're going to hold Alt and drag to make a duplicate. And now it doesn't look any different. But when we zoom in to five and then we drag our mouse through the position, we're going to center the GoPro in our new frame as best we can. It's, it's close. It's close. Then we come over to effects and we click the magnifying glass and type in SHA. And that's a time saver for later. What we need to do is come into toolbox effects, grab the shape circle, drag it on. Boom. We can scroll down, click apply as mask. And then we're going to change our size and it's going to come up and there's the GoPro. And if I play through, the, if I scrub through this clip, rather, you can see that the GoPro stays pretty much where we need it. Perfect. Now our fusion clip is set up so we can alt drag to make a duplicate of that one. And with this one here on the bottom, we're actually going to right click and say new compound clip. And then we're going to come in and if you got it if you got it centered it's going to be just fine but we're going to drag a new shape circle on there nothing happens so we'll click on the top one press the d key to disable it ha ah, there's our circle then we'll click on our second one that's still enabled and we come into effects shape circle and we will grab the size and bring that up until it's bigger doesn't matter how big C click on the top one again d to re-enable that border's too thick so we'll come down to our second clip. We'll bring the size back down. That's a reasonable border. I like that. I like that a lot. But we want the color to change. I like a dark blue. So we'll click on that one. Now we're pretty much set up. But on our fusion clip, we want to apply sharpening. So we're going to go back to our effects, open effects, filters, and sharpen is still selected because our magnifying search deal is already set to it. So we'll drag sharpen onto it. And you can already see that the word GoPro got a little bit sharper. Now for a five time zoom, we're going to double click there and type in 2.5. And that should sharpen things up nicely. You can play with that to your liking. And for the final touch, we're going to drag and select both of these. Right click and say new compound clip so that they move together. Then since it's already selected, we can add a drop shadow. Boom. Now. 
this looks a little bit big. So we can go to our video portion of the inspector and we can drag it around if you want. You can click on the transform button here and you can just move things around. It's a little bit sluggish, but whatever. And then we can bring it so that it's not quite as big. There's the effect. Now, I know that was a little bit more complicated. If you wanted to stop after the stabilization and just crop in, throw in a drop shadow, you could have done that. But in this case, I wanted a nice circle. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing. So now let's go play through the footage and see what it looks like. Ta-da, the GoPro is solidly showing there. It's sharpened a little bit and it's stable. How cool is that? That's neat, right? Now, I told you I would show you how to do the DVE because it's a lot simpler, but it is studio only. So let's real quick go through that and then we'll wrap this thing up. Back in Resolve, Alt-Drag to make a duplicate. And then we're gonna bring our Fusion Clip on and it's got nothing under effects, right? So we can come into effects, effects, toolbox effects, go down to DVE, drag and drop, and you'll see that when it, <laughs> you, sometimes you have to click around, there it is. And then we have our border and drop shadow already set up. So in this case, what we wanna do is play with DVE a little bit. We want it roughly in the same place. It's got a bunch of different versions. You can do funny angles and stuff but we're just gonna go simple this time and we're going to come down to border and open that up, change our color from gray to the same dark blue, drag our corner radius up to 0.55. I like that a lot. To bring the crop width down, that's good. And you notice this is, uh, this is still not zoomed in. So we'll go to video, we'll type in our five, right? And then we'll drag down and it's keeping it all in that window for us. So it's doing a lot of the work. And we can actually go to a six on this one. There we go, that's better. Heck, we can go to seven if we want, I think. Yeah, look at that. That's not too bad. Then under effects, we still want the sharpen. So we'll come into our effects, filters, magnifying glass, SHA, sharpen, drag, drop, boop. There it is. We can drag that all the way up. And now we have that effect. If we really wanted a circle from that, we can come back into our fusion effects. We can bring the quarter radius all the way up, bring the crop width down till it's about a circle, and then we're good. If we really want, we can move this over just a little bit, and then it's done. So we have our first one and our second one. First one, second one. Ta-da, playing through that. It's gonna chug, but it hasn't rendered it out yet. And now that it's rendered the render cache, the blue line is filled, we can play, and you can see that our GoPro is highlighted and stable and everything else right there, and in a fraction of the time. How cool is that? Is that pretty neat? I like the DVE effect. I use it all the time for just this purpose, and doing it the manual way is just a little bit more complicated. If you don't have the studio version of Resolve, then now you know how to do a highlight and stabilize. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, boop the like button and go check out this video next and I'll leave you with the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe it's tinkering around in Fusion and figuring out a few effects. Bye.